I take it you're running lead on this? What exactly is this? Small, one-man craft. Major damage done by the crash, as you can tell. No sign of the pilot. How long ago did it land? About an hour ago. And it couldn't have gotten far. Hey, before you go, remember, uh, your father and I are leaving while you're at school. Mm -hmm. Our flight's at noon, mm -hmm. and we'll be back in four days. Yeah, I remember. Okay, all right, and by the time you're home from school tomorrow, Juliet should be here for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So, don't think about throwing any parties. What, so I can invite all one of my friends? All right, have a good day. Honey, we gotta get going if we wanna make it to the airport on time. I'm almost ready. Can you get my carry-on from the basement? <sighs> okay. One day, I was laying on that couch in front of my TV, and I saw an ad for Foley Fitness. That's when everything changed. At Foley Fitness, there are no flat rate memberships emptying your bank account every month. What you pay is entirely up to you. Just walk in, 
ask to speak with one of Foley's expert personal trainers, and they'll work to establish a rate that's based on your personal fitness needs. So get off that couch. Come on down to Foley Fitness. And you think just like me. Everyone, and I mean everyone, Please get your college applications in as soon as possible. This is one of the most important decisions you will make as a young adult. Do not procrastinate. Ask for recommendations from your teachers, your coaches, your bosses, and fair warning, if you would like a recommendation from me, your deadline to request one is the end of the week. That would be Friday. Alex, have you finished your applications? Not yet. Hmm. Then perhaps you should spend more time on that and less on comics. Put it away, please. Now, if everyone would like to return your attention to the front of the room, we can continue with class. Can anyone tell me the difference between arteries and veins? Anyone? It's not about college, Sam. It's just more school. It's whatever. Yeah, I know. It's about growing up. No, not even. It's not. Well, if not, then what? Leaving? You know, if that's the case, I get it. Home is comfortable. I think everyone probably wishes they could take it with them, but that's no reason to blow off college. I'm not blowing off college. Then try to get into some. Specifically the same ones as me. I don't want to end up with some frat boy roommate who sex aisles me and doesn't take showers. <laughs> or do you want to live with your parents the rest of your life? No. Oh, but speaking of which, they're gone till Monday. Oh. I can see it now. Video games on full volume, all the bloody sci-fi movies we can watch. Do I gotta say in any of the stuff we do at my house? Uh, come on okay. the den. There's more space. Here you go, dude. Sweet. I'm using the bathroom real quick. All right, I call player one. Greetings. I mean you no harm. I come from the planet Domum in the galaxy you call Andromeda. I was on my way home when my pod's power supply failed and I was forced to land on your planet. I came in here for shelter and to deduce the natural form of your planet's inhabitants so I could blend in. But that is all. Okay, I'm calling the cops. Authorities? No, they might not understand. Why you broke out of the madhouse? I do not know where madhouse is. I come from Domum. If you're an alien, how come you speak English? Oh. My people are raised to be fluent in six million forms of communication from across the universe. Of course they are. Yeah, now I'm calling the cops. Please, <laughs> what can I do? To prove that you're an alien? This, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm about to say this, 
But you would have to show us some kind of proof. Proof? Proof. Would you like more proof? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What? There's an alien right here in your in basement. My basement! He was in all of these and houses. he came out here! He, and the, he goes into my basement! Head. My basement! Oh my god! We were throwing boxes at an alien! This is tremendous! I'm so delighted that you're happy with my presence. I wonder then if this means you will help me. Yeah, sure anything. Oh, excellent. I need to find what you call an astrophysicist. I must gain their assistance in repairing my pods so I can return home. Return home? Y you want to leave? Precisely. Do you know where I can find an astrophysicist? Oh, uh, we are astrophysicists. Oh, do you... Yes, we are indeed astrophysicists. Mm -hmm. The best Earth has to offer. We know physics mm -hmm. and astronomy. Oh, what luck! My new friends, you will help me get home. Absolutely. We just need to talk in private for a minute. <laughs> we just became best friends with an alien. Can you imagine all the stuff he can do? <laughs> all the places he's been? I bet he knows all the secrets of the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet he could prove the moon landing was a hoax. Oh, the moon landing was definitely real, but this is amazing. <laughs> You think eventually he'll figure out we're not who we say we are. Okay, um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, let's keep him here for now, though. Okay, it, it should be all right. Um, oh, and we're gonna have to hide him when my sister comes home tomorrow. True. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So, uh, we think it's best that you just stay here while we figure out how we can help you. Please. Accept my gratitude. Gratitude accepted. The human hand is made primarily of three basic parts. First, the phalanges, the three bones in each of the fingers. The thumb, however, has only two phalanges, the distal and the proximal. Second, the metacarpal, the individual bones that make up the structure of the hand. Nice. Finally, the Please carpus. Series of bones Where is he? The metacarpal to the I told him that we were at NASA right, and that he should stay put. Under the thumbs metacarpal, what do you think we should name? Below the he's not a dog, Sam. Carpal, no, I know, but if he's going to live on Earth, he needs a normal name. Like what? Below the ring and pinky fingers, How about Roswell? Below those, How is that a normal name? Void, you might as well just give him a t-shirt that says I'm an alien. The carpus connects the hand to the rest of the arm through cartilage in the wrist. The wrist consists of the radius, the larger of okay. the two bones in the arm, what about Marvin? and the ulan. These two bones we found make a Martian. up the forearm connecting to and the... And do you want to name him Marvin? Alex! Sam! What are we talking about this time? Comics? Games? Movies? Your promising future in retail? I know you couldn't possibly be talking about science. Well... Oh, don't bother. Both of you, principal's office. Now. This has to be the tenth time that one or both of you have been in my office in the last two months. I don't think you have a single teacher that hasn't sent you my way. Well, to be fair, that's kind of on them for letting us sit next to each other. You know, it's a little bit on us. I want to speak to one of your parents. And I don't mean a phone call when you get home. Something tells me it would just be Sam, speaking in a deep voice. No 
though I want someone in my office in the next 20 minutes. Well, my parents are out of town till Monday. Yeah, and my parents are dead. Look, I don't care who it is. I want someone's guardian in my office at once. Come on, it's this NASA. Yeah, now remember, I need you to tell our supervisor that you are going to make, hey, that you are going to make sure that we pay attention and get all our work done, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. This is my uncle, Marvin, right? You are uncle Marvin. I am uncle Marvin. It's a pleasure to meet you, Marvin. I appreciate you coming down. The issue with your nephew and his friend is very serious. I understand. I will make sure they pay attention and get all their work done. I wish it were as simple as that. We may need to talk about moving Alex to a different schedule. Will he still have time to work on the pod? Excuse me? Uh, he means my woodworking club. In woodworking club. Mm -hmm. Uh, this shouldn't change after school activities. School? Uncle Marvin. You need to take me home to ground me. Remember? You said that. I said I need to take him home to ground him. Wait a minute. Oh, and I need to leave so I'm not late to my parents' funeral. Alex, Sam, I wonder if you might spare a moment to talk. Yeah, uh, of course. What's up? I must say, I'm very confused. Your supervisor did not seem to know anything about me or my pod. Also, is school not where humans go to learn? I did not think it was another name for NASA. Well, it's... It's not. Well, that lasted long. Marvin, we aren't actually astrophysicists. We're high school students. We only told you that so that we could get you to stay here. You're kind of the coolest thing that's ever happened to us. Oh, I see. Not that you don't mean more to us than that, but, well, I, I'm just happy that you came to my house instead of someone else's. But the truth is, we can't fix your ship. Well, that might not matter. I too have a confession to make. It is no accident that I landed on your planet. My pod was only meant to go one way. You see, for reasons difficult to explain, I was banished from my home. I long to go back. I would very much like to try, but I fear they would not have me. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that sucks. But hey, maybe we could help you find a place to stay on Earth. It is not easy and you have only ever known one place is home. But thank you, my friends. It is clear I may have no other choice. Oh, first things first. Let's get you some new clothes. Uh, my dad's got some stuff that would probably fit you. I'll go get it. All right, you 
Just go ahead and put these on and we'll wait for you in the kitchen, okay? Scott, this is Agent Cameron. I picked up the trail again. So, that's everything. I, I know it was a lot to take in. Should I show her my hand again? I... I am going back to campus because this isn't exactly what I had in mind for a relaxing weekend at home. Yes, I'm serious. You're serious. You're just gonna lie. This is the one weekend I have. Okay. Okay. Well, can you help us, please? It just isn't fair. Okay. You need to think this through. Get out of my way. Whoa. We represent the United States government. What? What's going on? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's this one. What agency did you say you were from? We're going to need all of you to come with us. And what if we say no? What do you think they're gonna do to us? Honestly, I'm more worried about what they're gonna do to Marvin. Oh God, they're probably gonna experiment on him. We have to get him out of here. Okay, but we can't bring him back to the house. He's, he's gonna have to go someplace far away. How about we just get us out of here alive? We're not leaving him. I'm sorry. I know you didn't sign up for this. But you're a part of it now. Okay. Sam. We need a distraction. Same way they did. Cameron, what's the status on the kids? Do you read?
We're gonna get you out of here, okay? The elevator. aren't going anywhere, but you've got to go someplace far away. Juliet's going to give you some money and show you where to buy a ticket and, and you have to pick a destination. Someplace far from here. And you can't tell us. Alex, I'm frightened. I know, but what you did back there, something tells me that they'll be coming at you with a lot more than just two people now. And if they ever find you again, you'll probably spend the rest of your life locked away. So you need to keep moving, all right? You cannot stay in one place for too long. So I will spend the rest of my life lost, never again to have a home. Yeah, well, maybe we're both wrong on that one. Maybe home isn't a place. Maybe it's a feeling, you know? This is nice to think about. I hope you are right. Goodbye, my friends. So, you having any second thoughts about leaving? Actually, I'm good. Wow. I, I just never thought I'd see you this calm leaving what's most important to you. Well, maybe it's because I'm not. Yeah, but you're not even going to feel a little bit lost without this place. I don't think so. What do you think it's going to feel like? Well. OK, your TV's loaded in the car. OK. And the mailman just delivered this. There's no return address, but I think you can guess who it's from. <laughs> where do you think he is? I think he told us exactly where he is. <laughs> 